Welcome to the Liquid Nomad. I'm Dell. Today, we're making the Slow Dance Cocktail, a drink to showcase light and strong herbal flavors and balance. This is the Slow Dance. Here we are at Idle Hour, the definitive chartreuse bar here in Baltimore, the number one seller of chartreuse on the East Coast, as well as among the top accounts in the country. Idle Hour is located in Riverside, South Baltimore. So if you get a chance, come by and get a proper introduction to green chartreuse. That said, let's make the slow dance cocktail. We're gonna start with two dashes of toasted pecan bitters. This will help us balance out some sweetness later as well as add those nice toasted pecans and warm flavors. Moving on to our citrus, then we're gonna work up to our base spirits. I'm gonna cut this to juice. Now in a work environment, it's fine to juice pre-shift or event, but if you can, always fresh squeeze if possible. Half an ounce, 15 mils. To start balancing out that citrus, I'm going to use banana liqueur. Tempest Fugit particularly because of its ripe banana, almost banana nut bread-like flavors. Quarter ounce, 7.5 mil. Now to finish balancing out our citrus, I made a green gold syrup. To make this, I had two cups of green tea and while it was still hot, I stirred in two cups of golden sugar. If you're wondering, golden sugar is cane sugar that's granulated to cook and work like white sugar, like you'll see in most kitchens. So for this, half an ounce, 15 mils. To balance out the bold and high proof chartreuse we're pouring next, I wanna use Dolan Dry Vermouth. So this is gonna dry the cocktail out some, and it's also going to add some light, bittersweet, almost mineral notes. Half an ounce, 15 mils. Now for our green chartreuse. Green chartreuse is a deep herbal spirit. It's a proprietary blend of 130 herbs and plants. So this is not dyed green. This is actually really just packed with flavor. A little bit goes a long way here. So half an ounce, 15 mils. Finally, to finish off our base, we're using Plymouth Gin. Plymouth Gin is a nice, light, citrus forward gin, but it has those classic juniper and herbal notes. So, to finish off, 1.5 ounces, 45 mils. For this cocktail, I'm going to whip shake. My method is to take about an ounce of crushed ice, pour it right into the tin, seal it, and shake it until it's gone. This way, I completely control the dilution while I'm chilling the cocktail. So shake it until it's completely gone. All right, now that I can no longer hear the ice, I'm gonna grab my serving glass. I'm using a clear julep today. Fill that with crushed ice. And since there's no ice left here, there's no need to strain. So I'm gonna dump pour this onto our crushed ice. Garnish that with some fresh ground nutmeg. And our Surfside Sips Turtle Straw. I'm gonna go a little further with my garnish. I'm gonna grab a garnish clip and put it on some baby's breath flour. In a green twill, I'm gonna leave a recipe in the description below. You just need some flour, salt, some oil, uh, food dye of your choice. I'm going with green. This will represent the green chartreuse with it. 
because of the wonderful way the Nashville and botanical ingredients gently get along so well, letting green chartreuse take the lead. This is the slow dance. So first off, you get that great nose from that fresh ground nutmeg going in. Yeah, so chartreuse is the hero of this cocktail, but in no way overwhelming. Other flavors in the background balancing out that lemon juice and bitters. Even though a lot of the ingredients here are light, this drink's bold, so that's why I'm serving it on crushed ice. Now, as this drink dilutes, those strong herbal flavors will separate into more discernible, lighter flavors. If you're interested in bar gear used, support small businesses and artisans by checking out our handmade products and bar gear affiliates in the description below with attached discount codes. Now, this will support them as a business, support us as a channel, and you get to save money. If you have a cocktail you love or want to see me make, let me know in the comments section and we'll keep the conversation going. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, subscribe, like, and we'll see you soon.